Thank you for watching this week's tip of the week. This week we're going to do a comparison between dual slope laser and altimeters, whether it be smart level or zip level. These tools are a must have in your tool arsenal. You're going to see just how efficient you can be estimating quick, accurate, and efficiently, and also on the job site what the best option is there for getting your jobs done accurately and quickly. It's not the greatest day for being out on a job site to get things laid out and measured up, but today using a laser to estimate my heights and elevation, we have a fairly uh, good slope in his backyard. But I'm going to get my first uh, layout of the house, the location of the house, the dimensions of the house. So I'll do that first using my tape measure. Here we go. All right, got the house laid out. I'm gonna measure out here to this existing wall. Ugh. All right, let me go off the deck. Got 13 foot, 13 and then five foot nine. I think we're ready to get some heights and elevations. My funky button that don't work. Oh. I need to get paved to those quickie laser rod. That's quite accurate, isn't it? What are you doing? Getting my heights and elevations. Getting your heights and elevations? Is that how you used to do it 40 years ago? No, 40 years ago we actually used a transit with a stick and a level and a tape measure. This is easy compared to that. Well, let me show you easy. We got a digital altimeter right here. I'll show you how to estimate a job real quick. All right, sounds great. Looking forward to this. I'm about sick of this thing. Estimating in this day and age, a digital altimeter like this, the smart level is a must. A product like this can actually get you out on a job site estimating and using the augmented reality via Bluetooth or your phone, you're able to actually calculate distances and elevations all at the same time, putting it into a plan that you can always use the continuation of designing your project and even to building it. We can get perfectly accurate distances, we can get perfectly accurate elevations, making your job much easier and more accurate. Setting up a digital altimeter like this is super simple. Three easy steps. I'm just pulling out the level, set it up in uh, a centralized location of the project. And I'm gonna pull out a bunch of line, enough line to get me distance across the backyard to all the different points that I need. We got 100 feet of cord in here, so we can do a 200 foot diameter. I think we have enough cord there. What I'm gonna do next is just connect my, my smartphone up to the Smart Level app. So now I got it connected, so every distant measurement that's coming out on this readout unit is actually being transferred over to my phone. So now I go to 3D mapping. It's gonna to wanna to detect the surface. What we do here is we're gonna actually start mapping. So we have elevation, and we're gonna get distances here, go right to the edge. I'm gonna mark right around these stairs. Until the level evens out, all the way here to the edge of the house. Mark that spot. Start heading up the hill. And then I'm just going to hit the uh, square box here just to close it out. So now that we got our area closed out, what I want to do is I just want to add a few more points. I'm just going to go up 
halfway through the hill, so we have an accurate readout here. Place another point there. The more points we grab throughout this process, the more accurate we'll be. Now I got all my points, and I can just simply hit my save button. And I can see now all the points that I had grabbed. I can take these dimensions now. These are all the points that I took, and I can save them. And now those are saved. And the great thing too is I can actually export these out into a in a CAD program, email them to ourselves so we have a physical uh, copy of it, and we can use that to start uh, dimensioning our project, knowing our heights and elevations and distances to complete this project. So now we're on the job site. We got dirt to play with. We got machines operating around us. And what we got here for the tool of choice is our dual slope laser. So we're gonna be working with this laser. That's all we're doing is we're setting our heights. We're setting our elevation so that the slope will be appropriate on the laser. And then from there, we can get our heights and elevations wherever we want. The best thing about a dual slope laser on the job site is we're actually able to build the slope into the laser. What this means is this means no math for you on the job site. Right now, the laser is actually finding its slope by moving up and down, and we can actually hear it now that it's actually just rose above the laser receiver, and now it's going to start dropping back down. Once it's beeping solid, it's then found its x-axis. There we go. Got it. So now we have our plane set up in the appropriate pitch because we got our x-axis, we figured out our y-axis. So the slope laser should be on the appropriate slope for the slope that we want here. The benefit of that is I can literally go around my laser and I can figure out exactly where I need to be. And the benefit of this is it's all audible. So I can tell that I can hear it, it's beeping slow, so that means that I'm low. That means that we need to bring up our grade just a little bit, and I don't have to do any math. That's all I'm doing is I'm just putting that laser right where I want to be. So my grade is pretty high right here, so now I need to take that down. So among many of the benefits of using a dual slope laser on your job site, one of the biggest benefits is being able to actually laser screen. Attaching implements to your machinery so that machinery itself is going to be picking up on that same, that same laser grade and you'll be able to grade anything out flawlessly and perfectly. So it'll keep you off your hands and knees. It'll keep you from having to grade and do some guesswork while you're grading. It's perfect every single time. One other point that we want to make as far as when we're working with a laser on a job site is we have equipment like this operating around us all the time. So we want to make sure that there is no strings attached. Like you have with a digital altimeter, you have the line that runs back to the digital altimeter, which that unit has to stay in place. The other option would be working with a digital altimeter on the field. Trying to get a pitch and all that slope built into it takes quite a bit of time because I'm doing math in my head. So I know if I want like uh, an ICPI recommendation of 3 16 inch pitch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take my digital altimeter, set it at that point where I want zero to get about that 3 16 inch pitch. I know that I need to come out 10 feet and every 10 feet I'll be dropping about two inches. You can see where there, there needs to be math that's involved. Otherwise, if I want to go five feet, then I need to recalculate. Or if I want to go three feet, I need to recalculate. So you can see the benefit of having a slope laser and just being able to go anywhere you want to go. Thank you for watching this week's tip of the week. We hope this was beneficial. When using an altimeter, there really is no better way for getting your heights and elevations when estimating a job. Using a dual slope laser, you can see the benefits of being able to set your plane get your heights and elevations, and no matter where you're standing with that laser, you know exactly where you need to be. Thank you for watching this week's Tip of the Week. Make sure to go on our website. You can sign up there for our Tip of the Week. You can also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Thank you.